Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I've been developing a new breadboard uh, specifically for helicopters that have like realistic movement. And this is actually a vehicle I didn't make from scratch. This is called Heli Trainer. You can find this vehicle in game. It's it looks a little bit different though because I did modify it quite a bit. I um, actually was trying to make a uh, Super Lynx, you know, but I've, I decided to use this thing as a test bed for this new breadboard that I'm making and it will actually dodge missiles and cram obviously and you know it can also dodge some APS uh, cannons if they're not too, you know too fast basically so I'm gonna show you how it looks inside we have a fuel engine back here we have a regular big jet engine here Two custom jet engines that provide power to the other systems right and then we have some pitch uh, jet engine uh, assistance basically uh, you you have to install some of these because you know wings sometimes are not enough we have some wings here and there and also on the side here we have some ion thrusters these are only to stabilize the uh, helicopter when it needs to be stabilized right and back here we have the propeller for the yo and here we have the main propeller now one thing that i hate about uh, from the depths is that this thing does not spin continuously because this thing is actually gliding right now and you know i wish they kind of fix that you can try to reduce the power of this thing to make it spin more so for example i can do 0 0.01 right and that should make it spin more but uh then it gives you problems when you really need that thrust um, inside it looks something like this the cockpit looks all right it's not super detailed but uh you know i'm just testing this thing or using this thing to test my breadboard and i'm actually going to show you my breadboard so the breadboard is right here Right, we have a lot of stuff going on. We have stuff to stabilize the helicopter, stuff to control its PID, behavior, maneuver, and we also have dodging. I have, we have a lot, of, a lot of stuff here. Uh, this is something that I might have to change here. So, yeah, this when I have to remove it because I was using this I'm going to remove it now anyway so let's give it a little bit of a test and see how it does okay let's test it against a marauder first just to show you how it attacks so it has rockets not missiles they are missiles but you know they're modified to be rockets they have a very short lifetime you can see 100k, not bad, not bad. And it will point at the enemy, do an attack run, and then will turn. Also has some simple weapons, simple machine guns. I think that's the 60 millimeter. Which the simple weapons were a bit more, you know, less simple, <laughs> basically. But it's going to turn. I need to make it where it turns a little bit earlier. Turning way too late. And it's firing the missiles at ridiculous range. But it should do okay against the Marauder. Yep. So no problem, you know. Marauder gets 
few strafes and it should basically be done. And again, Splint does all right. Not designed to take out planes, it's against only surface targets, right? But uh, it does all right against planes. So here comes a duster. And it's going to dodge those missiles. And I try to make it where it dodges like a real helicopter. Ooh. And it will also save itself if it, you know, hits the surface of the water. Ooh. Okay. Right, let's try against speed dusters then. Two, four. How it does against four dusters. Ooh. Does all right. Got hit a little bit there. Uh, Rambot, please don't repair. But it's mostly a uh, support vehicle, you know, because I mean helicopters. That, that's what they. That's what they are. But uh, I'm planning to build something. That is a lot bigger than this thing, that it uses APS as its uh, main weaponry. Another one, yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna try to build like a much, much better helicopter. So I'm gonna put this helicopter on the workshop. And if you wanna dissect it, go ahead. But I'll make sure that if you want to use my breadboard, make sure to have everything, uh, you know, set up correctly. Like all the behaviors, all the settings here, because it won't do the same thing that I think is doing right now. And it's upside down. As you can see, it saves itself quite easily. And struggling to kill these two dusters here. Oop. I think I got hit. Yeah, and I got hit in the engine. Yep. So, as you can see, that's what happens if you don't have, you know, pitch and a little bit of roll control. Let's see if it goes up. I don't think it's going to save itself here. Let's see. Let's delete the... Good. Go out of the water. Let's see. I don't think it's going to work. If it does it... Yep. Okay. It does struggle to roll though in the water, but I mean that's fine. Right, let's try again something has some missiles. Let's try against Javelin, right? See how well it dodges the cram. So Javelin has cram, it has some flak, it has missiles. And where are the missiles though? Don't see them. There they are. Yep. So you know if it's a big missile, it's not a problem. You can actually dodge pretty well. So as you can see, no damage taken so far. Strafing. And it does alright. So 
as you can see it's dodging it's delivering the missiles pretty good but i mean this would this fight would take ages because like not meant to kill like these uh godlike vehicles or god tier vehicles i mean oh look at those missiles upside down Ooh, okay. This flipped it somehow. Anyway, let's try something else. Uh... So it will struggle against things that, for example, it will struggle against certain planes. Uh, where are planes? So, for example, an air shark, which is a lot cheaper than this vehicle. Because this thing is started okay. The Shinark Shark is oh well, they're they're basically the same. They're basically the same um, material cost. Oh, got some hits there. And the Nerf Shark also hit me. So yeah, it, it will struggle to hit the Nair Shark now, because the Nair Shark will simply just circle around it. So later on, what I have to do is I have to add another behavior from the maneuver behavior, right? And I'll probably do, if the plane is close, switch to hover mode. So that sort of stays with the plane, I guess. I think I'm going to do that right now. That's right now, because I was doing it right, and I was like, hmm, is it kind of useless? But now... Right, so let's turn you off. Right, so I'm going to add another behavior here. So, if it's an enemy... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So, I'm going to copy a code here. So it don't take too long. I'm going to copy this. What else do I have here? Copy this. Copy this first. Right, if if there's an enemy and the enemy is close, right? And I'm gonna use altitude. It is is more than a 70 meters than one right and closer than let's say 500 meters right then if it's like this the opposite Right, so now I need maneuver selector, right? Maneuver, no. Yeah, yeah, it's maneuver selector. Okay. Can I move this? And I need. Uh, I need hover movement. Right. I'm gonna keep it there. Over. Right now, it's doing hover movement instead of airplane movement. Right? What happens? Could be a lot better as well because there is no enemy. It should just hover like this. 
save a lot more materials. I don't know how it's hovering like this though. So pitch roll. Pitch roll, okay. Right. Let's try again against Nerf Shark. Let's see what happens. So let's see the, what the breadboard is doing. I was doing hover movement right now. Okay, so I think I need to switch them. This. Right. Still doing like the same thing basically. Missiles? Nice. Good dodge. Let's see what is it doing. It's doing hover movement. Now it's doing airplane movement. Well, I think this is better. I think it's doing a lot better now. Because it kind of like stays with the enemy more. And because, you know, the Nerf Shark is quite annoying. An annoying uh, plane. It will sort of like circle around you. Reminds me of some space engineers ships that I see. Right. Ooh. as well that's because we have both have the very similar behavior my god I wish they made simple weapons a lot a lot better right like, I'm not saying they should shred but uh it is annoying that I have to use APS cannons all the time So it's trying to dodge. Oops, there's no materials. Trying to dodge the flares there. But that seems to be a lot better. Uh, let's try against Duster again. Or maybe. No. I don't, I don't think it can handle any of these planes right now. Uh, let's try against Duster. Oh, Duster is the right, let's see. So... One of them is out. Got both of them. Very unlucky for the Dusters. Yeah, helicopters are a so much more difficult than planes in this game. Planes are so simple, you know, just forward thrust and and then just, you know, roll, go and pitch. But helicopters are a different beast. I think it's actually damaged. Let's repair it. I think that's better though, it's uh, staying a bit more focused on the enemy round. And, oh, okay. Ooh. That's alright, that's alright. Right, so a much harder test now. And let's try to make the weather really bad. Right, I want to see if it hits the water. Right, so I'm going to test it against something that has a lot of missiles. Uh, some cram, actually a lot of cram, and some APS against the Great White from the Steel Striders. Now, 
That thing has lamps for sure, but uh, I want to see if this weather is going to affect the navigation. Comes a missile. Very good. As you can see, it's dodging quite well. Yep. Dodges all right. Oh, and it got it now. Oh my god. Breadboard is working fine though. It's just the platform that, you know, this thing is, is so bad. It's such a bad, simple helicopter. It needs so much. Oh, okay. This is what I wanted to test. Okay. Oh. Okay, so weather does not really affect it. That is exactly what I wanted to test. It's like... FTD is like, this is what you wanted, right? I'm like, yeah. Oop. Okay. That is fine. As you can see, the missiles are still tracking me, so it's continuously trying to dodge them while trying to calculate where the crumbs are. So it's quite crazy. And another thing that you need to know is that I have ACBs. Oh, I had ACBs. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. So over here, just at the back, we have three ACBs, right? This one is to dodge missiles. This one is to shoot the flares. Now, realistically, I could have breadboarded the flare launch because since I am dodging the missiles, I can also tell the breadboard to, you know, just use the flares when it dodges. But uh, I wanted to separate them. And this one is for cramps, because the thing is, the breadboard can't detect where the, um, you know, missiles are or the cramps are. So they need some sort of an input. And ACBs are just perfect for that. So I have three of them, right? Because I really don't like using a lot of ACBs, but that is just fine. And I have... Uh, AI, AI card here, where is, I should have another one, pretty sure I had another one somewhere, yeah, basically you need uh, pointed behavior and attack run 2.0 and then you need also airplane 2.0 and hover movement when it comes to maneuvering, so make sure to copy all of this, right? And also named these guys. I'm pretty sure I named these guys, right? Yep. IP. IP. And also named these guys as well. Yep. So make sure that you... If you make a helicopter, make sure to name them like this. But this breadboard should work on any helicopter that you have. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like want to see more and yeah i'm going to try to build some really overpowered helicopter that looks realistic and it does you know does some fun things so make sure to follow me and i'll see you for more from the depths videos thank you for watching